Hey everybody, Jen Cravassi, Jekyll Bates. I've got just a few pieces this morning to show you. Five, in fact, and actually uh, we'll probably just concentrate on a couple of those five. But I do have some pieces going out. Heavy duty hard work in the shop this week. I'm trying to get as many orders out as I can. Uh, I know that you guys are waiting on some stuff for Christmas, so getting to all of that this week. I should be completely done with my existing orders, hopefully by December 20th, which means all of you guys should get your stuff by Christmas Eve. So that's what the uh, that's what the actual hope is today but I'm gonna start with these three pieces these are small swim baits that were sent to me by Michael Webb to repaint they came in as they almost looked like red horse when they came in it's they had um, they were shrinked the like the shrink imaging on them they're not very expensive lures they're small uh, they're held together instead of with um, with eyelets and links that are small steel these are held together with elastic and you can find them um, there there's actually nothing wrong the swimmability is pretty good for the first probably week or couple of weeks with these the problem with this is because it's elastic and it's not an actual hinged swim bait like most of them are is that this elastic just like in undergarments is going to eventually wear and stretch out and if it doesn't get destroyed by fish, which that's the goal, you, you want it to be destroyed by fish, then it will start to wear. And when it starts to wear, these pieces all start to twist. So you don't get the actual swimming action that you probably had hoped for. But when they're brand new, they're fantastic. They're fun little baits. They're not expensive. The most expensive part on this for Michael was my repaint, I'm sure. Uh, at least I would hope so. I, I hope that he... Um, got them from where most people get them which is off of ebay or aliexpress or amazon um, but they they are cool little baits and they're used with you know with elastic but he asked for two and a natural thread fin Let me give you guys a close-up of this and then he asked for one and just a regular brown gizzard so i was quite happy to put those together for him and there's um there's sepia let's see for the brown i used sepia i used raw umber a little bit of blush pink in the cheeks lots of pearl white and pearl gold uh, i've got some burnt sienna in here and also a burnt orange a little bit of red under the chin added also in sepia the gill plate shading and that pectoral fin but fun 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 the the question i got asked most yesterday when i premiered them on my facebook page was how do you clear coat that these especially since it's elastic and not metal either you can't really scrape anything you have to brush it so what i use let me see if i have one somewhere near i do I use a thin artist brush actually the one I used was angled but this is fine you can use a straight tip and for this you pretty much just want to go even strokes I keep these in helping hands uh, while I'm brushing and I do one side at a time two coats so you can imagine it takes a little bit longer so these are gonna be set to go probably tomorrow I might be able to get them out later on this afternoon but they should be set to go tomorrow. But it's two coats per side, thin coats, and you just brush it on. And then one of the things that I like to do if I'm brushing stuff on and I'm using Helping Hands is that I, as this dries, because you don't spin this because it'll create bubbles if you're using KBS, um, I'll rotate the Helping Hands to where it doesn't, gravity doesn't do its nasty stuff and pull it or make it drip down. So as it's drying, I slowly reposition my helping hands to where it'll get pretty much to all sides. So that's a little helpful tip for that one. And then again on the, and you can see that there are no drips. Just a good, clean double coat of KBS on this. The last two that we're going to concentrate, and I'll pick this one up real, too, real, real quick too, just so you guys can see it. There we go. These are a lot of fun to paint though. And it's a hard tail. It's not a flimsy plastic tail. 
So that's helpful. You can clear coat the tail as well. The other two, I've got these Jackal Rearrange 110s. These are going to upstate New York later on today for Don David. And these, if you guys um, check out my Facebook page, you saw I also premiered these yesterday. And then on the Brotherhood of Custom Crankbait Painting, if you guys are members, go check out my step-by-step -step because I have about 14, 15 pictures. And then underneath each picture, at every stage of how I sprayed, I did not do a video on this. I did uh, a picture tutorial, so photo reference, visual aid, and description of how I put it together underneath each photo, each thumbnail. But go check that out on Brotherhood of Custom Crankbait Painting. If you guys are not a member, go to Facebook, search Brotherhood of Custom Crankbait Painting. Michael Ornstein and Jerry Garcia, or Jerry, <laughs> I'm thinking Grateful Dead, Garcia Rosa. <laughs> Happy Holidays, not Jerry Garcia, although he could be. Maybe that's where he's hiding out. He's living in Florida and posing as Garcia Rosa. But those two are the admins there. So um, go hit them up and check that page out. Um, there's a couple mods over there as well. But this is the Peculiar Perch Pattern. And if you guys want to learn the recipe, it is available for you guys to try out step by step. Love the way this turned out. Beautiful, beautiful bait. Jackal, it's no joke. It's not Jekyll. Obviously, it's not me. I'm Jekyll for a different reason. Not because I wanted to be Jekyll or Jackal or however you want to say him. Um, Jekyll is just my initials and it's an old nickname of mine, which is, it just kind of stuck with me when I started Jekyll Baits. J-E-K are my initials and Jekyll is what they called me on the water because I turned into beast mode when I was competing. So I do miss competing. Yes, I do. Um, but I love what I'm doing now even more. So that's it for the day. I hope you guys have had a wonderful morning or evening or afternoon or whenever it is overnight. I don't know. Maybe some of you guys are watching me on the toilet, although that's creepy. I know it happens. So I hope you guys have a really, really great day. Lots more coming for Fishmas and Jekyll Bates. If you guys are interested in getting in on the contest right now, I am still open from the last video. If you haven't seen it, turn me off now. Go watch it. I'm giving this away. One of you lucky people, and I don't care where you are on the planet, I will ship it to you if you win. One of you lucky folks is going to go home with this blitz. So go find that video. I'll link that below in the description. I just need a smash thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and tell me, tell me, because I have the burning desire to learn from you guys how you would fish this. If this were yours, where would you fish it? How would you fish it? Go over to that video, comment below on that one, not this one, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.